So record back again uh, with the new Skype talk and I'm talking to uh, Mr. Jungle Man, Daniel Cates. Daniel, how are you? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Where are you now? I'm in Vienna. What are you doing there? Uh, well, I plan on getting like a semi-permanent-ish place here. Uh, I have a few friends here. And um, yeah, basically I'm just trying to like, uh, you know, just like relax and grind and try to get in shape, like this kind of thing. Yeah, that's funny. I, I, I did an interview like four or five days ago with Marvin Rettenmeyer in Barcelona, and he also said he was interested in moving to Vienna. What what uh, what would bring you there? I mean, do you like this t the town or the city or what? Yeah, that's a pretty cool city. Uh, Germans in particular have a good reason to go to Vienna because it's similar to Germany, but uh, there's a little bit of a tax difference. Okay. Um, so it's not really a surprise you might want to come here. Of course. So there's many German guys for that very reason. Mm. Yeah, it's a pretty cool city. Yeah, no, I've been there a couple of times. I really like it too. It's a bit cold in the winter, though. Yeah, but what else is new? Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. So, so uh, what are you? I, I heard a lot about um, you're going to Malta pretty soon, having a, a boot camp there. Is that right? Uh, yeah, but I'm not going to be the one of the main uh, coaches there. I'll be coaching, but not uh, the. I, I'll, I'll be coaching, but only like a couple hours or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. What, what, I mean, uh, what, what? Uh, maybe that's somewhere where you can find info about it. Because a friend of mine is going actually on the boot camp. Uh, what, what would they expect? Who goes on that boot camp? Do you know? Um, who goes on that boot camp? No, no. What, what will they expect to become better in? You know what I mean? What, what's, what, what is it, is it included in the boot camp? What would they uh, learn? Just everything. They'll learn about post flop, pre flop, and a variety of different things. Mm -hmm. uh, cash games in particular is the focus. Mm -hmm. uh, some PLO stuff, some no limit stuff, just big bet in general. Mm. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Uh, so, what, what in particular, the few hours that you're going to do, uh, have you, uh, are you going to talk about, you know? Uh, heads up play, basically. Right, right. Would you say uh, that's your. Uh, is that what you're best at? Would you say that? Yeah. Yeah. By, I mean, I mostly have that. Yeah. Is that is that by far your best best game? Um, by far depends on shooting. By far, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, heads up, no limit, and I think I'm very good at PLO too. But maybe some of the people don't think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. It's it's funny always this struggle with people who who says that they're better and this guy is so bad. Uh, who who would you consider uh, some of the best? Uh, Opponents to you playing heads up PLO in, in uh, Texas. Uh, well, Texas is a little bit more clear to me. PLO is kind of funny. Mm. Uh, for Texas, um, well, I think uh, let's see. Uh, the guys who a couple guys who gave me a lot of trouble were uh, Reagan. I, I forgot to mention Reagan last time someone asked me this, but I think he's very good actually. Okay. Uh, I think I think what he does is pretty good, and he works on his game a lot and that kind of thing. Uh, let's see, uh, Kanu gave me some trouble. I, I think I could beat him, um, but uh, I need to work on it a little more. He's got like he definitely does some interesting things. Yeah, uh, I think uh, WCG Ryder is one of the. I mean, I beat him, but I think that he's, he's still like one of the best heads up players out there. Yep. Um, let's see. Uh, Ike, Ike is very, very good as well. Obviously, everyone, mm. a lot of people know that. Mm. Um, and uh, Sauce is Sauce. What Sauce is doing lately is a bit unusual, but that's part of the reason why he's doing it. Uh, it's not. He actually does have a good reason for doing it. I think I more or less understand what he's doing, but not, but don't know the details. Um, he gave me some trouble. And he beat me recently. We played a little bit, and he won like seventy k or whatever, fifty one hundred. Um, I think I think he's like very good at poker. He's a very smart person, and uh, you know he got the best of me that time. But I'm not convinced that what, he'll, what he's doing is superior to what what I can come up with. But I guess we'll see in the future. I'm gonna yeah. take you know, at, at him and whoever else. Hmm. I mean, what, what specifically was it that he did different? I'm not sure. I, I uh, Is that something you could describe that he, you thought he did different? Uh, well, uh, I don't think I should reveal all the details. Of course not. Disrespectful sauce. But 
Um, basically, he like reorganized his range in a certain way in order to come up with something that people wouldn't understand that might perform, that might be very difficult to exploit, but also perform very well against a conventional strategy. I see. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, that's like the best way to summarize what he's doing without giving away any details. Besides, uh, what fun would it be for the viewers if they knew everything that was going to happen? Yeah. Um, for Saucy and Floyd. Yeah, of course. I, I, I heard some rumor uh, from some guys uh, over there in, in Britain that in some poker VIP forum you had wrote, written something about Durr. And did you say something about overrated or something there? Yeah, I said he was overrated. Um, I just think he's overrated compared to the norm of being best in the world. Right. I don't think he's like bad exactly. I mean, I think he's like worse than his competition, but I don't think he's like, you know, like as far as like being a poker player, like a bad poker player. I, no, I just like no. overrated person of that. I think. Why challenge? Yeah, I I think like uh, if you ask a lot of players, maybe they would mention him as. Maybe the best or one of the best, and and that's what you, you you sort of reacted to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not it's not like it's 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 like there are a lot of players who are bad that are from old school and like very bad, and they're not regarded for shit. No. But not the case with her. No, um, less so today, but in the past that was true. Yeah, yeah. So, so certain example. <clears throat> of course, there's a lot of attention to that you picked up the Dirt Challenge again. Uh, have you kept track of how much you play now after you, you took it back up? Uh, not really, but I know we played about 25,000 hands total. And what's the score? I'm up 1.25-ish. Mm, ish. <laughs> so, yeah. So do you feel confident to, to keep it that way or even increase it? Yeah, I don't think that I'm going to lose this challenge at all. Mm, okay, okay. That's good. Uh, have you decided, have you talked about... Uh, in what uh, term uh, time this will be finished at all, or, or just you're gonna play as much as you can? Not explicitly, but basically, uh, there. Well, not we're, we already came up with some rules, which we're gonna reveal probably by the end of next week. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna tweet them and post them on two plus two. Um, we've already agreed to them, but I can't put them out just yet. Uh, better if we wait just a week. Okay. Because yeah. We're intending on putting on some hands, and I think, I think mm. uh, they're all play in like four days or whatever when he's outside of the country. I see, I see. Oh, that sounds good. I mean, uh, <clears throat> would you say that you would bring up certain hands and give comments to them and talk about specifically interesting hands in the, in the challenge? Uh, after the challenge, yes, before the challenge, no. All right, I see, I see, I see. Excellent. All right, that sounds good. So you, you say uh, you're on good terms now, you and, and Tom? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Uh, there's a little bit of a discussion going on in, on high stakes uh, uh, thread uh, with, like, it, it's silly, like, Vipper and, like, maybe Daniel Lay are, like, trying to argue that they shouldn't have to pay part of it or something. Uh, but no one agrees with them. Hmm. Uh, I'm not on good terms with Vipper, really. I mean, I sort of am and sort of not. Mm. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. Mm. I got a bet with Vipper on it, uh, which was I didn't I didn't uh, organize my action really in like the best way ever. I didn't handle the whole like selling of this thing very well because I was inexperienced at the time. I was just some online kid who was just been playing and was really good at poker, but not really good at hustling or like mm. uh, didn't even see that dimension. And uh, I did. I didn't really uh, handle. Yeah, I didn't really handle the dirt challenge that well, as far as like making money from it. No, I understand. You, you, are you? Would you say you're a bit wiser now when it comes to these uh, issues? No, I think I'm pretty decent. I don't know if I'm amazing, <laughs> but I'm definitely like more able to pick up on things, little things that people are doing. Playing live helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. I just see like some sneaky things that people are doing. I didn't really get like hustled or anything exactly. No. Uh, not explicitly, anyways. Mm. I didn't get, like, screwed over exactly. But, like, I saw some, like, sneaky things people did with their language and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I mean, for quite a while, you were playing online only before you came, came out on the live scene, right? Yeah. For how long yeah. was that? 
a couple of years. I actually made, I mean, I was actually playing high stakes in 2009, mm-hmm. uh, 5100 and some 100, 200, but no one knew who I was. Mm-hmm. Um, and I actually was very successful that year. Yeah. Uh, no one really knew about it. And then, yeah, uh, <coughs> up until 2011, I had only really had like online experience, not much business experience or live experience. Mm. Would you say that? Uh... Uh, of course, it goes up and down. But would you say <clears throat> that you had? Was it tougher to win live after people knew who you are? Um. Uh, was it actually? It was tougher to win live uh, because I was making some fundamental mistakes live, and uh, oh, right. not I was doing a few things bad. But I don't know if it was relevant to. <clears throat> people knowing who I was. Would you say that you might have, uh, might have gotten away with it in another way if you were unknown, before you were known as, as Jungle Man? I mean, uh, uh, when you played live. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I'm, like, I, I'm guessing, I guess, like, people, you know, and I'm sitting across the table from these people that just see, like, some, like, some, some online kid, and they're like, oh, fuck this guy. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy's whole thing all the time. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know if that's really the case. Certainly, I don't think I've got like the best table image to to uh, like, play, create, or whatever. I mean, it would have been easier to get in good games, I guess. Yeah, but yeah. I, even that's debatable. Yeah. I don't like that much in this case. No. Now it is it's interesting. I know I, I've been talking to quite a few uh, players recently, uh, the start of the EPT season, and so on. And some some players are actually going more into live games uh would that be something you consider or are you going to continue to play mostly online uh i play some live games but i swear i can't stand i, I don't know how many more like tournament full ring tournaments i'm gonna play it's just i, I just can't stand full ring i'm just sitting there for like six hours and i'm just like <laughs> i'm just like oh my god i have played like the hands and it's just it's, it's the most brutal thing ever and then like a standard spot comes up and i just like have to fall and like sigh yeah. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. Uh, no, that's like almost torment. It's, it's like it hurts inside for you. Is that right? Yeah, it's it's painful. Yeah. Like, I just can't. I don't know. Is there any way that you could sort of find some, some amusement on your iPad or something while playing? I think, well, the thing is I don't bring, I don't look at my phone when I'm playing. Well, I do look at my phone, but I don't listen to music because I try to make myself like watch the other people and pay of attention. That's for sure. Do 100. Uh, percent Really hard to do that. It's mm. so much fucking bullshit and so much stalling. I just can't stand the stalling. That yeah. just drives me insane. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I understand. Like, I, I, w- I might actually quit a fish if they were slow enough. It's just too. It's just too. It's it's like perhaps the most grating thing ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got Certainly it. If they, if I didn't have a big edge for someone who's too slow. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can always find, maybe you could find a live cash game where you agree with the other players that we're going to play fast, then it's okay, right? Well, like most, well, most, to most people, when you play slow, they actually really hate it. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, most live cash games, especially ones that are private or good, people are playing fast. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Uh, th- there's some quite uh, good cash games. Been uh, anyway before in uh, in Vienna, I've been told, or close to Vienna, isn't it? Yeah, a friend of mine is playing them, but I'm not playing. No. Okay. Okay. Like players get invited to those. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll see if we get invited. If you sort of find a, a residence over there. Yeah. 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 Uh, pretend to be German. <coughs> Would you would you keep would you would you keep your uh, London uh, apartment or would you get rid of that? I don't have that right now. Ah, okay, okay, okay. All right, that sounds good. Yeah. Uh, so, so I was about to ask you when are we going to see you out on the tour again, and maybe we already answered that. <laughs> uh, I'm not particularly. I'm not going to be on any EPTs in particular anytime soon. No, 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 no. Maybe the World Series of Poker Europe would that be interesting in Paris? No, I'm not going to that. No way. Uh, I've heard of like a few people being well. In addition, on the topic, there's at least three EPTs that I know people, high state, high profile players have been rooms have been broken into, and and presumably hacked. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, that's one additional reason why I'm not going to EPTs. In addition, live tournaments are devil. 
uh, pillow and live tournaments and devil poker. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, uh, I'm just not having it. Yeah, 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 I understand. I understand. Uh, <clears throat> no, they, they, they have like these uh, high stakes, uh, high roller tournaments now on every <clears throat> stop. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if we see you out there. Um, is there any other interest in life besides poker these days? Do you, uh, do you have time for anything else? Well, I've got a girlfriend now. Um, uh, and I've been working out. Uh, it's a little difficult. I have to like work out before I play because if I play, I might not get up until like the end of the day, especially if I play an online tournament or something. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, the the W Coop is running now. Have you have you checked the schedule? Would that be? Uh, are you playing a lot there? Not a lot, but I played some. Uh, uh, so far, I'm not a fan of the W Coop. The W Coop is uh, slapping me around. Really? Um, well, yeah. I, didn't, I mean, I haven't final tabled anything. No. Uh, I mean, yeah, I just haven't, I haven't done particularly well in the W cube. No. It's crushing my dreams. <laughs> so you're miserable now, I guess. It has, I mean, it's just been, what is it, like four or five days or something. But there's, of course, you play the, uh, if you play, you play the PLO, obviously, the heads up and the, the, the Texas. But would there be any mixed games you would consider, like stud or anything? Not stud. Uh, I mean, no one ever really plays like, like real stud. It's always in some mix. Like, yeah, no one, no one plays. Stud. No, no. Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm trying to learn a couple, a few mixed games, like triple draw, whatever. Mm. Uh, but I mean, I'm not going to play in like bad games. I'm not going to play like the best in the world at triple draw. The guy that you know, he just his life is triple draw. I don't think I can beat that guy for no. some reason. Um, I mean, if he plays a little no limit, I mean, maybe we, we can start talking. Yeah. But, uh, Maybe a little PLO, but not just straight triple drop. No, 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 no. No, but there's, I mean, there's still tournaments. I mean, they're two fifteen or three hundred twenty bucks for for the like yesterday was three twenty uh, stud eight uh, tournament. And a guy like you, it wouldn't harm your bankroll that much, and maybe you would play it for fun. Would that be something you consider? Oh, you know what? Actually, I just remembered. I played a uh, a uh, 08, no, not an 08, an eight game tournament. Yeah. Uh, and I won it. <laughs> really? <laughs> where, where, where was that? Like the weekly eight game or something? I don't know what it was. I won like five k or something from it, and it was like a hundred dollar buy-in. Excellent. <laughs> oh, admit now, it was great. It was good fun. It, it was. It was more fun to to win a game, win a bunch of games I haven't played at, than than to uh, actually play. I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's good. I mean, that's that's entertaining. I guess the other guys on the table uh, were pretty pissed when you said, "Well, I don't hardly know this game." <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't tell them that. No, 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 no. A little secret. Okay, we keep it a secret. We won't tell anyone. Which huh? is, which is your weak? We won't tell anyone. But if I meet you in an eight game tournament, because I play that when I can, which game are you absolutely worst in? I mean, basically, everyone's worst game is stud. Because yeah. it's like very different from other poker games for a few reasons. I know some basics, but I'm not. I mean, I must be. That must be my worst game. Yeah. I, uh, I don't see why that's relevant though, because like, no. who can choose? Yeah. Uh, also, I've got to brag. People have been sitting out for, or there's a, a dude or two that sat out for me at at a uh, triple draw and maybe 08. I'm not sure for 08. So I must be the sickest, clearly. <laughs> did they sit out against you in that game? Huh? Oh, well, what did what were they thinking? That's a lot of respect. I don't know. They're just thinking, oh, I got jungle man. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you played those games. That's funny. All right, you won't have any more sit outs on those games probably if they look at this interview anyway. Uh, well, I don't think I'll have any sit outs in general. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Interesting. So, so if we want to. Uh, is there a specific schedule or do you just talk to, to Tom when, when it's time to play again or would you have a specific schedule? Where can we see you play? Uh, well, um, that's a good question. There's not a specific schedule, unfortunately. Tom's just in Tomland and uh, I don't know, he just pops up whenever. Hopefully uh, doesn't play Sand Killer and Ike or whoever else he plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, True Teller. Yeah. Um, and uh, I mean, we're, I'm gonna guess we're gonna play sometime in the later end of the next week, mm -hmm. but can't say for sure. Unfortunately, I'll tweet if we play. 
All right, excellent. Now we will see. Um, I guess you uh, you have a good time uh, on Malta. Do you have any plans for Malta except for the hours doing the boot camp? <coughs> um, Hanging uh, out. Really. I mean, I'm just gonna do Malta stuff. Like, yeah. I'm just gonna do whatever. Yeah. Are you gonna bring? Your, are you gonna bring your your girlfriend there? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Excellent. So we have a little bonus uh, question that I forgot to ask you, Daniel, uh, about, of course, we should ask you how your year was, because I know you keep sort of track of, of all your games, right? Uh, yeah. How, how was your year? Uh, how, I mean, from January till now, how was it? This is a really funny uh, way to ask a question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe it should be up about one million. Right. Um, there might be some reason why it might not be, but uh, should be up to two million. Variance is a uh, variance is uh, taking out its, its having its way with me right now. You mean has it been lately over the last couple of months, or has it been all through the year? <clears throat> just throughout the year, just running bad in particular, in particular at high stakes PLO. I mean, when you play like a few, not very many high stakes games, a lot of like twenty by fifty or whatever. Yeah happen um at least it happens part of the time just so well is uh i mean uh i as a, as an as a novice let, let's call me a novice in this how do you get that uh, ev minus thing uh, i mean how do you count that for those people who are not that into it that you are down one million of what you should have been uh well you know part of it is just like not focusing on it too much uh if you can, because focusing on it is not really useful. Um, and in addition, uh, I mean, it still bothers me, but at the same time, it's also, um, it's also, it bothers me, but at the same time, there's nothing I can do about it. Mm. Is it gonna, of course it bothers you. Does it affect you in, in the way that you will play worse or become to doubt yourself? Uh, I mean, it might make me a little bit more irate if I'm in particular by a bad straight, right, uh, particularly bad stretch. I've noticed that's happened. And, uh, let's see. But normally my mind kind of adjusts, like, every, you know, all people basically just adjust to their surroundings. Yeah, of course. Um, and it becomes not really a problem. Mm, I see, I see. I, I, I think that, uh, I mean, throughout your years, because what uh, those times I met you, it seems like you are pretty level-headed when it comes to your online play. Have you been the same, or have you been become better over the years? You know what I mean? Um, I, uh, I'm not level-headed while playing, but afterwards, I, it takes a little bit of time, time like, no normally less than like a few hours or less than that but normally uh i get back to normal pretty soon I, i'm level-headed for the most part but really emotional in the middle of it mm. you don't have a, a what do you call that a sandbag or or uh, you break your your uh, your equipment or anything like that no what do you mean? I mean, it means a lot of people tells me about when they play online, they lose a lot, they break their keyboard or their mouse flies out the window or something like that. Would you have tantrums like that? Uh, very rarely that bad. No. But I've like hurt, I've like pounded like the table sometimes. <laughs> uh, it's rare that I hurt myself. Sometimes I do like this or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I can't really hit the table or hit my laptop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lately, I haven't been quite as aggressive. Uh, because I've also been trying to work on that. Yeah. That's really, really mad sometimes, yeah. for sure. Uh, I broke a laptop recently. I was so tilted. Because I, like, flew to Vancouver to play some online. Yeah. And, uh, and, um, I, uh, we, I was trying to get internet, and it was taking, like, a ridiculously long time to get internet. I kept not getting into the game, so I was playing. So I was, like, already kind of on tilt, and then, like, like things like the internet spac uh, spazzing out, and like just my computer spazzing out for some reason drive me completely insane. I'm just like so ridiculous to me, and 
Like that just makes me rage more than anything. So what what did you do with the laptop? Did you just smash it to the floor or what? I, I, I threw my mouse at the screen. I went like that. Yeah. I, I did, and then it like messed up the monitor and then I went like this and it just like completely broke the, the laptop. And I was like, well. <laughs> just, just, Django man sits out or what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, that happens. I mean, maybe it was... Maybe it's good for you if you start to uh, work out a little bit and, and get your frustration out on in the gym instead. Well, the thing is, uh, when you do things like that, it actually is bad for your anger because it like allows you to keep being angry. You have to like vent the emotion in a way that is not uh, not aggressive. If that makes sense, like yeah. there are ways of controlling emotion uh, or uh, venting an emotion or dealing with it. That's a way that does not produce, uh, does not, you know, it, it causes you to keep being angry, basically. And so, basically, because of that, there will be, there will eventually be an outbreak. Mm -hmm. uh, appropriate way to dealing with it is like uh, just trying to like identify that you're starting to become emotional, and then, uh, and then. Uh, Possibly just saying that you are emotional. I mean, in particular, you just have to identify that you're emotional and just break the little pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Uh, this is it's good to talk to you, Dan. Is there anything else that we should mention in this interview, or or should we keep it for the next talk? Do you know anything specific? Um, I don't think so. Mm. You looking forward to go to Malta? Uh, kind of. I mean, like right now, I actually didn't really want to travel, and unfortunately, <clears throat> got. Four things on my schedule, and then like uh, some of them are like really far away. Yeah. So I'm just like, I'm just thinking, that ah, crap. How does yeah. this happen? <laughs> I think the, the weather is going to be nice down there. Get some sun and and some workout, and be with your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, sounds good, Daniel. All right, we'll we'll uh, add this little bonus uh, picture, and uh, we'll talk soon again. All right. This sounds good. Yeah. Take care, man. Great, see ya.